In an ad Marion Vander the creator of Wi-Fi Enterprises states that their main goal is to make perfect wives and make people's lives better he further adds that people do not have to suffer loneliness now because of him while he keeps speaking a robotic wife comes and serves food to her husband she then states that love is not found it is ordered outside the wife like building a man named William. Pulls up in a car he goes inside the modern building as a hologram of Marion materializes he starts to talk to William as he thanks him for what he did as an agent revealing that William works for lifelike enterprises William however thanks him for Meredith his wife before vanishing Marion tells him that he deserves to be happy since he lost his wife after that a woman named Willow walks in and tells William his wife is ready he goes to another room and sees Meredith Willa tells him that they charged her and she is prepared William starts to have a flashback in which he sees that the real Meredith came to his house she asked him to sign a petition for stopping the wife like enterprises not knowing that he works for them William brings her home as he tells her to open her eyes he starts to explain that it will take her a few moments to process everything and learn basic things like walking she gets up and tries to walk while leaning on William he then tells her that she is his wife and he is the husband it is revealed here that Meredith died and William decided to have an exact robotic replica of her she also has the real Meredith's memories this is why she says that everything looks familiar to her later at night she asks him if he wants her to turn on the intimacy settings if course says yes she explains that he needs to look her in the eyes and maintain eye contact in order to turn on the settings once he does she starts to seductively take off her clothes as both of them get explicitly intimate after that Rediff goes to charge herself as she notices a butterfly on the window she tries to grab it but accidentally squishes it she also notices a strange figure looking at her from afar she finds it to be strange but goes back to bed once she lies down on her bed she starts to charge in the morning William is watching the news as she prepares breakfast in the news they are talking about an organization called the scare this organization is in the fight to end I exploitation they are against Wi-Fi enterprises as they want to and die Meredith asks William about them as the news says that two of our companions have gone missing William tells her about the scare and speculates that they are kidnapping I companions to sell them in the black market then serves him breakfast but she serves no bacon alongside the eggs she explains that she is not programmed to hurt him and the bacon can cause heart issues he is a little angry about this William then gets up and goes to work while he is gone Meredith tries on new clothes and applies lipstick inside the wife like enterprises surgeon Steele walks back and forth as she announces that another companion abduction took place and that she wants to find whoever is responsible for the abductions she also remarks that William is the one who made the most progress on this case another agent named Jack is also the there and he gets quite jealous later on the iRobots that got abducted are in a room while wearing red electric collars all of them are passed out but one of them suddenly wakes up her name is Wendy and she sneaks outside of the house as Surgeon Steele locates her Williams is nearby and he insists that he go there Surgeon Steele tells William to wait for the backup to arrive but he does not listen and goes there anyway Wendy tries to go away but her collar starts to electrocute her as she falls to her knees Williams approaches her and disables the collar via device upon asking she tells William that there are two more companions inside the house she then starts to talk about a man named Jason Wilkes she reveals every minute physical detail about him so that William knows who he is she knows this because she got a peek at Jason while she was inside after listening to her William runs inside while Jack also comes and follows him inside William sees a man boxing in a virtual reality mask which is why he does not feel William's presence he knocks the man out cold and proceeds to go. Further inside in a room he sees many robotic parts and an eye companion sitting in the corner he disables her collar with a device and Jason walks while holding another eye companion at gunpoint William manages to shoot Jason right in the head as blood splatters Jack also walks in and witnesses all the bloody mess meanwhile Meredith lies down in the charging bed and goes to sleep in her dreams she meets Edo explains that this is the dream mode and he sends Meredith to her birthday party hosted in 
their house by William she dances with a woman named Liddy as her replica comes and starts to dance with William after Lydia leaves a strange man with a face mask approaches Meredith he gives her a peculiar card with a red bird on it he tells her that this will make her remember Meredith is. Perplexed as the dream concludes on the other hand William walks inside the wife-like building with the three rescue die companions William sees Liddy sitting in a room as Will explains that she has been malfunctioning subsequently Meredith sees Ito again and asked about the masked man from her dreams he claims that he has no records of a masked man being in her dreams Marta then asks Ito to generate knitting skills in her because the real Meredith did not have any Meredith is knitting the same red bird logo on a piece of cloth she later decides to go outside on a cycle when an old woman appears in front of her she takes a fall and asks the woman to explain herself the mysterious only tells Meredith to remember and does not care to elaborate further later William and Meredith have a conversation before getting intimate in the shower after that she shows in the pillow she knitted with the red bird logo William remarks that Meredith didn't like to knit he then tells her about the first time he ever met Meredith he says that she was sitting on a bench when he approached her at night she sits on her charging bed and starts to read a diary of the real Meredith in order to learn more about her while doing that she starts to touch herself she goes to her dreams again and meets idol Edo tells her that the dream he planned for her was corrupted so he will put her randomly in a dream she is sitting on a bench as her dream is the same scenario in which she and William first met the only difference is that when instead of William the masked man approaches her she asks her why. He is hacking her dreams but he also tells her to remember as soon as the masked man grabs her she wakes up from the dream and William is there he calms her down and when she asks about the mysterious masked man he tells her that it was nothing and just a bad dream later she wakes up and sees that William is not beside her she goes and sees William going somewhere while holding her red bird pillow. He makes an excuse that he had to go somewhere and he did not want to disturb her he goes out and throws the pillow in the trash for some reason Meredith is again reading the real Meredith's diary while William sleeps she starts to watch recordings of the real Meredith in the morning William wakes up and sees that she is already standing by the windows he goes closer and she sings a song for him. William is then entering an elevator as Surgeon Steele is instructing him on where he needs to go to find the companion they found the location of another kidnapped companion and sent William to get her William goes to the receptionist and asks for a woman named Lisa William soon realizes that she is Lisa and says that he needs to take her in Lisa explains how she does not love her husband and she willingly ran away from him William is bewildered but he assumes that the kidnappers reprogrammed her but she ensured that no one reprogrammed her and she just wanted a different life which is why she ran away William still tells her that he needs to take him and she agrees at first but starts to run after mentioning that she would prefer to die free she locks herself in a room and jumps out of the windows while committing suicide in the house Meredith sees that the woman she encountered on the bicycle is sitting in the living room her name is Louise and she keeps saying that Meredith is learning faster than the last time implying that this has happened before Meredith is confused as she tells her that everything is being recorded Louise records a message for William in which she talks about someone named Keen she then leaves at the wife-like building they are bringing in Lisa as her husband comes and asks if she is alive a screen catches William's attention and it is playing an ad in which Marion is talking about their new product childlike after the success they had in making perfect wives they decided to make perfect babies and never grow William is disgusted by this concept and straight goes to talk with Marion the hologram of Marion appears as both of them start to talk they first talk about what happened to Lisa and Marion says that this kind of accident will never happen again William however claims that it was not an accident and that they have to take this seriously because Lisa was not ever reprogrammed he further states that if they can make the decision of killing themselves then they can make the decision of killing their husbands when things get a little heated Marion ends the conversation without giving proper answers to William William comes home and Meredith immediately tells him about Louise William seems like he knows her Meredith mentions that she was in the house and she recorded everything William tells her to play the entire recording once she brings up Keen William 
calls Jack to his house so that they can see Marta's streams. William speculates that Keem lives in her memories. They know that Keem will ask her to meet him somewhere alone and in this way they will find out when she asks to be it is William does not tell her much and just says that he is with the scare once she starts to dream Mio comes and puts her at a Halloween dream she goes inside an abandoned building in search of Keem she sees the masked man and he takes off his mask revealing it to be Keem when she asks him about how he knows her he also does not tell her much he gets her a card and tells her where to meet him when she wakes up Woody and Jack get the location and Jack decides to go there with a team Meredith wakes up and asks William if she knows him William says that she needs to stay here so that he can go and get him Jack goes to the location with a team and they find a strange case when they open it up some gas starts to leak because it is a trap and Keen is not there William on the other hand finds Keen sitting he goes there and straight up shoots him but soon finds that it was a fake statue and not him he comes home and Meredith tells him that someone knock on the door and left something for William she claims that they don't want to hurt her because they had the chance and they did nothing to her William then explains that she needs to trust him and not them Jack calls him and mentions that it was a trap and they got gassed William says that he will end this by going inside Moretta's streams and killing Keen Jack exclaims how that might be very dangerous but he still wants to do it in Jack's own William and Meredith are on the bed and ready to dream Jack's girlfriend Holly is also there and she is watching him Meredith starts to dream and meets Idol she tells him to take her to the woods so that she can meet King there in the woods William attacks Keen in an instant he tells Meredith to run and she gets lost in the woods while William Keeps hitting Keen Meredith asks for an exit as Ito materializes a door in the middle of the wood she opens the door and goes to a party William and Keen also drift into the park and both of them start to fight there William tells everyone in the room and Meredith to run out of there Meredith stops and starts to listen Keen states that Meredith will remember everything but William tells him that he will wipe Meredith's memory every time he almost kills him but Meredith wakes up and the dream ends in their house Meredith sheds tears because she knows that he will wipe her memory Williams also sees that she is starting to remember everything that he did in the past Manette is very upset but he still sends her to the wife-like building so that they can wipe her memory clean once there Willow puts her in a room with all the other eye companions whose memories are about to be wiped out one of them starts to talk to Meredith and says that she has been here before she also reveals that they managed to keep their memories even after the wipe Meredith asks her to teach her how she can remember everything so that she can unravel everything that William has been doing she explains that. She needs to save all of her memories and her dreams in random mode Merida soon realizes that she had this conversation before so she must have saved all of her memories in her dreams before getting her memory wiped out she takes a nap and starts to dream and meet Sido she instructs him to turn on random mode meanwhile Louise comes and gives a USB to Holly it contains all the evidence of what Jack did to Meredith while dreaming in random mode Murdoch sees that Williams was taking her picture while she was with Keem meaning that the real Meredith was living with Keen. she again wakes while William gives her the same instruction he gave her when he first brought her home simultaneously Molly gives Jack all the information about William that she received from Louise William then tells Meredith that she is his wife but Jack walks in and claims that she is not Williams tells Meredith to go away as he talks to Jack Jack said is that he got the evidence and that William killed Keen he needs to arrest him but William does not agree to that instead he shoots Jack as blood splatters Meredith comes back and sees that William killed someone she reveals that she remembers everything and confronts William in a flashback William arrests Meredith and Keen by saying that Keen is keeping an illegal ad companion Meredith tells her that she is a real human but he arrests them both while in the car she remembers that he is the man who signed the petition William then takes Keen out of the car and shoots him in the head Meredith whimpers in the car William brings her into his house while keeping her in a shot collar William and Meredith start to argue he says that all of this is true love and that he only took good care of her she brings up the fact that he killed her at night she is sleeping when William comes and smothers her with a pillow that has a red bird on it this is why Keen gave her a card with a red bird so that she remembers that William killed her after this 
she pins him down and sits on top of him all breaking one of his arms before smothering William with the same red bird below Meredith is now the leader of the scare the scare is actually an organization that tries to bring back life and save our lives Meredith gives a big speech on how they will make all of this right and save countless lives Marion gives a statement that agent Jack was killed by the scare while Meredith watched all of this he then brings out William who is somehow alive and says that he has assigned William to this case William looks at the camera knowing that Meredith is watching he says that she is coming after her while Meredith looks at the screen and says that she is coming after him here this movie ends thanks for watching.